Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to be doing some introductory items with strings and uh, we're going to be learning how to assign variables and printing things to the screen. So let's get started. Alright, so we're going to work with our name and we're going to get real creative with the name of the variable and we're going to use name and then strings are anything that aren't numbers and strings in Python live in quotation marks we're going to use double quotation marks and we'll deal with single quotation marks later so now you, you use the equal sign to link or assign information to a variable now you say that you might say that nothing happened well actually a lot happened um, a lot in the background happened so now this is called calling the variable so we get something to come out well that's kind of like our name but it's not really our name so now I'd also like to draw your attention to how print is in purple if it's in purple it's a predefined function in Python so the way that I like to remind people for a word association is purple parentheses so print purple parentheses. So if it's purple, it needs to have parentheses. So now it's as simple as just inserting the variable and to remind you what the name of the variable is, is name. So now also for a second, I want to draw your attention to pairings. Everything needs to have a pair in programming. Start, end, beginning, however you want to th uh, start, finish, beginning, end, however you want to think about it. So we had two quotation marks here, two quotation marks here, two parentheses here. So now, now I'm going to hit enter and my name comes out nice and pretty on the screen. Now for another second we're going to kind of tie two, two of these things together. Um, one thing that computers are really really good at are doing the same task over and over and over again. People are not. People are good and creative to come up with computers and programming languages but to do the same thing over and over again we are not all right now I want to draw your attention to for and in here for is in orange in is in orange that also means something those are keywords and in Python that means hey I already have a use for this you cannot use these and we'll go over some other things that we cannot use in Python so now my cursor is sitting at the end of this and I'm going to hit enter and on the previous examples we've just gone down we've hit enter and we've get gotten no line and no chevrons and then it's it would have output well now something a little different is going to happen so now here's my call to header and I hit enter and now it indented Python tracks white spaces and indentations and we'll deal more with that later but I could sit here so here we are now with our purple print parentheses oops so now what we're doing also you see how Python grayed these out where the whole thing is gray and it's saying hey you got both your start and your end covered with your parentheses and we'll talk more about that as as we get go along now I'm gonna hit enter one more time it's going to sit there because I could list as many functions, excuse me, actions that I could possibly think of to go down the page, but I, this is all we want to do. And so what this did is it went through name, went through each time, it's going to follow these instructions until it gets to the end. So print it out, Sam first, excuse me, S first, A first, M first. And then once it got done to the last action, the last letter, it stopped and is sitting here for a new prompt. Well, hope you guys like this and there will be more to come. Thanks.